going on everybody, Paul Tech here, and welcome to the Revisit Review of the HTC One M8. Now the M8 was released back in 2014. This was HTC's flagship device. I didn't pick it up back then. I got a sweet deal on it today. So I'm gonna share with you how much I did pick this up for and my experience using it in 2018. So I did purchase this off eBay. HTC One M8, 32 gigs in Glacier Silver, AT&T, exceptional condition for $89.95 with free shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour around the HTC One M8. To the right hand side, you do got a tray there which you can input a micro SD card to expand the internal storage. And you also got your volume rockers to the right hand side. Now they are in a pretty good placement there, nice and easy to reach, but they do feel a little loose on the One M8, at least on my unit. To the bottom, micro USB charging with Quick Charge 2.0. You're also getting a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Take a look at the left-hand side. You also get a tray there, which is gonna be housing your SIM card. So kind of interesting, you have a tray on each side of the One M8. And to the top of the One M8, you are getting your power button there, as well as an IR blaster. Now, when it comes to the position of the power button, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It does seem a little bit hard to reach with it being all the way up on top. So I actually think it would have been a better placement to put it on the left hand side of the One M8 But nevertheless, you do got gestures to unlock the One M8 So you got double tap to wake You can also launch the camera from the lock screen as well And to the back of the One M8, you are getting a dual camera setup So the top one is a 2 megapixel depth sensor camera The bottom one is a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera You got dual tone LED flash on this Antenna lines going to the top HTC engraving to the middle there as well as antenna lines to the bottom of the One M8. When it comes to the design and build, HTC knocked it out of the park in 2014 with this one. Even today in 2018, it looks extremely premium. Aluminum body, it feels strong, it's well constructed, it's just excellent hardware all around. Comes in with a weight of 5.6 ounces. This also came in three different colors. And you're also getting a non-removable 2600 milliamp hour battery. Let's go ahead and talk about display now. Now the display on the HTC One M8 still looks fantastic today in 2018. Now it's not gonna be Quad HD or 18 to nine aspect ratio, but what you are gonna get is a five inch Super LCD 3 display. 1080 by 1920 resolution. So it is 16 to 9 aspect ratio. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on this and about 440 pixels per inch. But the display, it still looks nice. It still looks very nice in my opinion. All the wallpapers look great on it. Now it doesn't get super bright. I notice when you are outdoor in direct sunlight, I mean, I typically had to have the brightness cranked up to about 100% for best overall visibility, but do get some good viewing angles with the display. Now moving on to 4G LT connectivity, I connected this to Cricut Wireless. And as you can see there, I got good strong signal there, had three to four bars consistently. And the same thing with phone calls. The HTC One M8 still does a fantastic job making and receiving phone calls, no complaints there. Now when it comes to the keyboard sensitivity, it's actually a pretty good keyboard in my opinion. You got nice haptic feedback, and I didn't have any issues sending or receiving picture messages, and I was able to send emails perfectly fine uh, with the HTC One M8. And when it comes to what's under the hood of the One M8, you are getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801, clocked at 2.2 gigahertz, Adreno 330, as well as two gigs of RAM. Now when it comes to these sensors, as you can see, the One M8 does have a variety of sensors. So you're definitely gonna be able to use the One M8 to watch 360 videos as well as VR content in 2018. So taking a look at the user interface here, I mean, you're pretty much getting everything that you would find on today's smartphones when it comes to the applications like your Google Folder, Play Store, YouTube Maps. If you decide to go with the AT&T variant of the One M8, it is just packed to the gills with bloatware, unfortunately. Now you're also getting your on-screen buttons. You got your recent apps to the far right. And then if you swipe on over, you get into Blink Feed. Now, some people are gonna like Blink Feed. Some people are just gonna think this is not useful, but it's actually pretty customizable when it comes to your news, social media, as well as calendar applications. Much better than Flipboard, in my opinion. So with the HTC One M8, it is running HTC Sense on top of Android. 
Now, when it comes to performance with the One M8 in 2018, it actually does a pretty good job. It's pretty fluid for the most part. None of the applications crashed on me or froze, and the One M8 didn't boot loop or anything like that. Now, I did notice sometimes when you are launching an application, there might be this little pause, then the application actually launches. And also keep in mind, some applications might not be supported on the One M8 in 2018 because it is running an older version of Android. Now I know this only has two gigs of RAM, but I gotta say the RAM management on the One M8 is actually pretty good. Now as you can see, as I'm going through the open applications here, none of the apps are refreshing or restarting. They're basically just opening up right where I left them off. So again, you know, some good solid performance here with the One M8 in 2018. Now you also got some cool features here if you long press on the home screen, you get into your themes, wallpapers, um, home screen settings. What I wanna share with you here is the themes that are available. Now with the One M8, you have a variety of themes to choose from, and a lot of these are actually free. So you can actually change up the wallpaper, change up the icons, and there's so many neat looking ones to choose from. Um, so I'll go ahead and share with you how one of these looks as they download it. As you can see, it does change up the weather widget on top. It changes up the icons as well as the wallpaper, even going into the app drawer. I like how the wallpaper is showing through the app drawer right there in the back. So, you know, depending on the event, the holiday the season i'm sure you can find a free theme in there for your 1m8 into settings now jumping into wi-fi you do got dual band wi-fi here and connecting to bluetooth devices was perfect in 2018 and you also have nfc on board so that's actually a pretty cool feature so if you are interested in using android pay you can definitely do so on the 1m8 in 2018 moving on to internal storage so this variant does have 32 gigabytes of internal storage and what's cool is the fact that you can actually input a micro sd card and expand the storage up to 128 gigs now you can move some apps to the sd card but not all of them moving on from there i'll jump into at&t software updates now i checked this several times and each and every time i check for a software update it basically just told me that the current software is up to date. Now I'm pretty sure this did get an update to 6.0 Marshmallow, but on my variant here, I'll go ahead and jump into software information. It is on 4.4.2 KitKat, as well as HTC Sense 6.0. But again, there are ways of rooting this device, adding a custom ROM. Max Lee actually dropped a video not too long ago on just how to do that for your One M8. And moving on to one of my favorite features about the One M8 is the front firing speakers. Now even the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, when you plug in a pair of headphones, sounds great as well. But these front firing speakers with HTC boom sound just sound next level. I mean, they sound so crisp, so clear. I mean, I could hardly have this on max volume, depending where I'm at, because it gets so loud. HTC definitely did it right in 2014 with front firing speakers on the One M8. Here's some sample music. Go ahead and take a listen. Now, if you guys have watched my previous reviews, you know that I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the IR Blaster. I think that's an awesome feature. And with the One M8, the IR Blaster works perfect in 2018. And moving on from there, let's go ahead and take a look at the scores I did get from the N22 benchmark test. So it did come in with a score of 69,488 for those that were interested. And moving on to gameplay, now the HTC One M8 does a pretty good job when it comes to gameplay in 2018. A lot of the games that I did throw at it, they ran pretty good. A couple dropped frames here and there. I did notice when you do play games for an extended period of time, the back can get a little warm. Nothing that is alarming. Um, but nevertheless, you know, for this being a four-year-old smartphone, you can definitely play a lot of the games and it does a good job as well. And you can also play PUBG on the HTC One M8. That's pretty awesome. And moving on to the camera. So again, you're getting a five megapixel front facing camera. And the front facing camera is capable of taking decent uh, photos and videos. Nothing that's real spectacular, but they are decent. Now to the back of the One M8, you are getting that dual camera setup. So you're getting a four megapixel ultra pixel camera. So it's ultra pixel, four megapixel camera, F 2.0 aperture, and that secondary two megapixel depth sensor camera. Now I think the One M8 does a good job when it comes to capturing photos and videos. Now there's no optical image stabilization, but you do got what is called smart stabilization as well. But the colors look nice and rich and you know, you can take a photo while you are recording video, you can pause and resume. And even in low light, I think the One M8 does a pretty good job as well. 
and I'll go ahead and share with you. You got some other features that are available. So for instance, if you want some manual controls, you can adjust the ISO, the white balance. So you do have that available. You also have the option for dual capture. And I think this is pretty cool. If you're into doing vlogs and you want that little window of you while you are recording, you can move it around. So this, again, this can be a good camera, um, just depending on how you want to use it. Um, but you got some other features like slow motion video. And what's cool about the 1MA, you can also shoot in 60 frames per second, 1080p resolution. So again, I think it's a good camera, not the best out there, but still a good camera in 2018. Here's some sample photos shot on the HTC 1M8. And moving on to battery life now. So again, a 2600 milliamp hour non-removable battery. Now I'm pretty sure over the years, the battery has degraded over time. So I wasn't getting the best battery life on the HTC One M8. Uh, sometimes I can make it through an entire day. Other days I was charging uh, before the day ended, but I was getting, so I would say I'm getting anywhere between three, three and a half hours of screen on time. Well, everybody, that's pretty much it. That was my revisit review of the HTC One M8 in 2018. Now, considering this is a four-year-old flagship, I still think it's a fantastic smartphone, nice premium build. Those dual front firing speakers are seriously next level. The performance honestly wasn't that bad uh, using it as my daily driver. So again, uh, I really like the HTC One M8. I had a lot of fun using it. And if I needed to, yeah, I could definitely use the One M8 as my daily driver in 2018 for sure. Well, everybody, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this revisit review. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos. I got a lot more coming your way. LG G5, S4, S5, LG G Flex. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.